Hi guys, I'm Ram Agarwal. You are watching my channel 52 Pixels. Let's get started. Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to see how to embed hyperlinks using Photoshop. So well to start with what we are going to do is just create a new document which is a square one it doesn't matter anyways but we are going to create a square one now to add text what we are going to do is just go to this text tool and i'm going to type something let's type google and i'll just increase the size to somewhat like this big or something so now as you can see i've typed in the text now what i want to do is just when you open this image or this html file what you have to do is just you can click over here and you will get redirected directly to the home page of google so i want to do that using photoshop so to do that what we can do is just use this slice tool so slice tool is under the crop tool so if you don't know this is the crop tool just long tap over here and under crop tool you have the third option as slice tool go to slice tool and just draw a shape around the text somewhat like this which covers the whole text now you can just right click over here and after right clicking you have all these several options so we are going to go to edit slice options and under that i'll just type the name as google you can type any name it doesn't matter anyways but yeah i, I type the name as google now i'll type in the url that is going to be https make sure that you use the colons and the backslashes because that's how the photoshop accepts link now i'll type google.com so as you can see this is the url and in the target box i'll just type in underscore and blank so what under underscore blank means that it is going to open it in a new tab it won't create a like it won't open in the existing tab but it will open in a new tab so once done you can just click on okay and that link has been embedded over here you can confirm that from this part as well so it has been confirmed over here and the second thing is that as you can see over here what has happened is that your page is divided into around i guess four five parts where this is the first part it is empty second part it is empty third part has the text and the link inside the text and fourth part is this one which is empty and fifth part is also empty so what is the significance of that i don't know but what photoshop does is that it separates the selection that you did and embeds the link in that particular selection and crops out everything in different parts so that it doesn't come like in interference with this particular image now just go to file and now to save it just go to file go to export under export we have something called as save web for save for web so just tap on that one and it is going to open this tab you can just uh, zoom in so that you get the clear view of the complete page and here we have some presets png 24 and over here we have some options make sure you use either jpeg or png 24 never to use J uh, gif or png 8 or wbmp because that doesn't work quite well so make sure you use png 24 or jpeg in this tutorial we are going to use png 24 and I guess all these other settings are quite normal we don't have to mess around with these ones and once done you can just click on save so after clicking on save you have this option where to save the file i'll just save it on my desktop and format i'll keep the format as html and images because if we keep images only only the five parts that are divided will get saved not the link and if we save the html only the text will not get saved because only the link is going to get saved so make sure that you save html and images both settings and all these are going to be default you don't have to mess around you can rename the file as let's say hyperlink and once done you can just click on save so this is going to get saved now i can just es escape from photoshop and as you can see on my desktop i have got this one folder which says images so this image is for hyperlink 1 2 3 4 5 and in that we have this google one which has the link embedded in that but we cannot use it directly because as you can see this is not clickable link 
so to see the complete page and the complete link uh, a different chrome shortcut or mozilla firefox shortcut will be created on your desktop depending on what is your default browser so as mine is chrome i'll just tap on this one and this hyperlink file will open this page so if i just zoom in a little as you can see this is the page that i created with this text and if i tap over here it will directly open google website and i don't have to do anything but to save these files so for an instance if i delete these files and i just put them into the recycle bin now if i try to open the hyperlink it is just going to open these five divisions one two three four and five and it is not going to show me the text because i deleted the images files but still i can just tap over here to go to google but only you know that this part is embedded with the link for google so it's not convenient so make sure that you don't delete that file but i, I practically don't know how to use this feature or like what is the use of this particular feature but yeah it's a important tool if you find out some use for it because many people need to embed links to some certain documents and this is your way out of that so well that's it for today guys if you found the video to be helpful please like the video and in case of any queries or suggestions please feel free to reach out to me through the comments with that being said it's me ramagarwal signing off for the day see you in the next one thank you